Hola a todos, how is everyone doing? I'm doing great. For today's video, we're going to be doing a full face of all powder products. Insane, because look at how dewy it looks. If you want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. So of course, hydration is very important when playing with powders. So I'm going to just apply some lip balm. And then I'm going to go in with the Live Tinted Hue Glow in the shade Dusk, which is one of my favorite products to really hydrate my skin, especially right now because I've been super, super dry. I'm then going to go into Kosas. Um, I know, I know, but I need to use up this concealer. Um, I'm using the shade 6 just to conceal any blemishes as well as my circles before I apply any powder. I'm going to use this really nice and soft brush by Bay Minerals just to blend it all out. Alrighty, my skin's looking even. For foundation, I'm going to go into the Bare Minerals Original Mineral Foundation in the shade Light 08. It is quite light on me, um, but I make it work. So yeah, that is what we're going to be using today. And I'm going to go back into that brush I used for concealer. And the way that they advise to use it is to swirl the product on the lid to really activate the formula. And I was really hoping that it would work out for me because, yeah. And as you guys can see, it looks amazing. The product blends beautifully and the Hue Glow under the foundation really kept my skin looking very dewy and hydrated. And that is how the foundation looks on my entire face. Then I'm just going to set my under eyes with the Mineral Veil Setting Powder. This has become one of my holy grail setting powders for dry skin. Now for bronzer, I'm going to go into the Lila B bronzer. I haven't used this in so long. It used to be one of my favorites. Um, I'm not sure if it's because it's too old, but it doesn't really provide much pigment. Um, also, I'm not really a fan of Lila B because they're not very inclusive. So... That's how you know this product is quite old. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to jump into the eyes before I finish the rest of my face. And I'm going to go into the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes palette. One of my all-time favorite matte palettes. And I'm going to go into that shade right there. I don't know the names of these. But I adore this palette. I definitely think this is a very beginner, user-friendly palette. Um, for, yeah, for people who are just starting, I guess. <laughs> So I'm just going to keep blending the shadows out and just mixing some of the shades from the palette together and I love how these powders blend. They're very silk-like, very finely milled and like I said, they're very beginner friendly so I definitely recommend them. To finish off the skin, we're going to go into the LC Cosmetics Skin Reflector Highlight in Golden Haze. This used to be one of my favorite powder highlights because it's so natural and glides on the skin very beautifully. Nothing too bright. It's very natural, semi-wet look. And then I'm going to go into the Gen Nude Blush by Bare Minerals in the shade But First Coffee. These are a great formula. They are very pigmented, so you do want to go very lightly and just build it up to the opaqueness that you want and then of course some M Cosmetics brow cream in espresso hands down one of my favorite brow products alright and to really keep the skin looking dewy and feeling hydrated you need some dewy spray and uh, yep some mascara by Ilia be right back RT <laughs> I'm going to go into the Persona Cosmetics Lip Liner. I'm going to wear the shade Dusk, which is a beautiful, kind of like rosy pink shade for my skin tone. And then I'm going to go into the Lip Tinted Hue Stick in the shade Grounded, which is literally the most perfect brown shade you'll ever try. Look how beautiful that mix is. And wha-bam! That is a full face of all powder products. I was pleasantly surprised with the results and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, well. 
see you guys next time. Adios.